the number one priority uh, in taking the Center for Whale Research forward, uh, I think, is the continuation of this long-term uh, monitoring of the southern residents. And there's two reasons why that's a priority. Uh, one is conservation focused and one is scientific. If we don't know how many southern residents there are and, and how they're doing, we have no way of understanding whether you know, new stressors are being introduced, whether the current stressors are getting worse, or on the other side, if management actions are working. Um, so continuing to monitor the population is, is really crucial. The Center for Whale Research has been conducting ORCA survey for several decades now, but that time span is still not quite the time span of a killer whale lifetime. And if we want to understand these whales and kind of the, the way they live their lives and the ecology of these whales, we really need to be monitoring them, I mean, ideally for multiple lifetimes, but at least a single lifetime. So continuing that, that study is really crucial. I'm also really excited about some of the new projects that the Center for Oil Research has been doing in the last few years. Uh, I've been involved in the aerial observation project, which uses unmanned aerial systems or drones to look at killer whale behavior from the air, piece together aspects of their social lives that we hadn't understood before, which is really important um, for their conservation. These animals are, are really social and they really rely on those social relationships to get food and survive. Um, and we're gonna be learning more things as we watch them more about their foraging success, about cooperative foraging, about how those relationships change over time and with the losses of individuals. And also expanding both of those projects to look at Biggs killer whales, to look at the mammal-eating killer whales in the San Juan Islands and, and beyond. Um, who are doing quite well in, in contrast to the southern residents and serve as, as an interesting counterexample to the decline that the southern residents have experienced. So be, between those, you know, the, the expansion into these kind of newer projects looking at behavior and looking at the, the transients or the bigs and the continuation of the uh, long-term monitoring of the southern residents, there's, there's still a lot to do and there will be a lot to do for many years uh, into the future.